Mysterious noise emanating from the sea floor in Canada. Kalia Palek? CBC News in Canada has reported that. A mysterious noise emanating from the sea floor in one of Canada's northern territories has been puzzling locals and officials, who have yet to identify its source. The sound has been heard throughout Fury and Hecla Strait, a channel of water in the Nunavut region, and has proven to be a mystery for the local community. The remote area is located in the northernmost territory of Canada, where some residents rely on hunting for their food supplies. Observers noticed a decline in sea mammals in the area over the summer and have attributed the scarcity to the strange noise, which has been described as a ping or a hum and is reportedly audible through the hulls of boats. Members of the Legislative Assembly, who represent the area, noted the unusual lack of animals. MLA George Quillow told CBC News that passage is a migratory route for bowhead whales, and also bearded seals and ringed seals. There would be so many in that particular area. This summer there was none. Speculation over the source of the noise has included Baffin Land Iron Mines Corporation's mining activity to the conservation work of Greenpeace. Both organizations have denied any involvement, according to CBC News. The Canadian Department of National Defence is also investigating, as detailed by a spokesperson in a statement to CBC who said that the Canadian Armed Forces are taking the appropriate steps to actively investigate the situation. More from the CBC website on the subject. Sometimes called a beep, a ping, or a hum, the sound is blamed for scaring away animals. Hunters in a remote community in Nunavut are concerned about a mysterious sound that appears to be coming from the sea floor. The pinging sound, sometimes also described as a hum or beep, has been heard in Fury and Hecla Strait roughly 120 kilometers northwest of the hamlet of Iglulik throughout the summer. Paul Kwasa, a member of the Legislative Assembly, says whatever the cause, it's scaring the animals away. That's one of the major hunting areas in the summer and winter because it's a polynya, an area of open water surrounded by ice that's abundant with sea mammals, he said. And this time around, this summer, there were hardly any. And this became a suspicious thing. The noises emanating from the sea floor, according to remarks Kwasa made last month in the Nunavut legislature. Another area MLA, George Collot, said he visited the site after hearing the reports. Though he wasn't able to hear the sound he says years of hunting have left him nearly deaf, especially to high-pitched sounds he did notice the lack of wildlife. That passage is a migratory route for bowhead whales, and also bearded seals and ringed seals. There would be so many in that particular area, he told CBC News, recalling his own days of hunting there. This summer there was none. Boaters aboard a private yacht passing through the area also say they heard the mysterious sound, and described it during an appearance on a community radio show upon their arrival in Iglulik. A number of people called in to say they'd also heard it. The noise can apparently be heard through the hulls of boats. CBC News has not heard the noise and did not speak to anyone who claims to have heard it. Nobody seems to know where the sound comes from, but theories from environmental activists to mining abound. One theory blames Baffin Land Iron Mines Corporation. The company has previously conducted sonar surveys of nearby Steens by Inlet in conjunction with its Mary River Mine southwest of Pond Inlet. But the company told CBC News it is not conducting any surveys in the area, and has no equipment in the water. Kwasa says no territorial permits have been issued for work such as construction, blasting or hydrography in the area that could explain the noise. He also says some of his constituents suspect the sound is being generated on purpose by Greenpeace to scare wildlife away from the rich hunting ground. The organization has a tense past with Inuit stem we've heard in the past of groups like Greenpeace putting in some kinds of sonars in the seabed to get the sea mammals out of the way so Inuit won't be able to hunt them, Kwasa said. These rumors, though persistent, have never been substantiated. 
nobody has ever seen any type of ship or anything going through that area and putting something down, Kwasas said. Greenpeace denies the assertion. Not only would we not do anything to harm marine life, but we very much respect the right of Inuit to hunt and would definitely not want to impact that in any way, Farah Khan, a spokeswoman for the organization, said from Toronto. Ming from its opposition to the seal hunt in the 1970s and 1980s. It has drawn so much attention that now the military is also aware of the noise, and says it is looking into it. Internal correspondence between sources in the Department of National Defense, obtained by CBC News, suggests submarines were not immediately ruled out, but were also not considered a likely cause. A spokesperson told CBC News the armed forces are investigating. The Department of National Defense has been informed of the strange noises emanating in the Fury and Hecla Strait area, and the Canadian Armed Forces are taking the appropriate steps to actively investigate the situation, a spokesperson wrote in a statement. Iglulik is about 70 kilometers north of Hall Beach, an active military site that was once part of the now defunct Dew line of radar stations. In the meantime, Collot is worried about the sound's impact on game animals that have been feeding in the area for centuries. For now, the community has no answers about the sound, its origins, or what it might be doing to the animals. As of today, we're still working on it, he said. We don't have a single clue. To add the strangeness of this case, people have claimed hair loss as well. What has been woke up? Could this be the Kalyapalik? is a legend told by Inuit parents and elders to prevent children from wandering to the shore. Kalyapalik are human-like creatures with long hair, green skin, and long fingernails that live in the sea. They wear a motayat, in which they carry away babies and children who disobey their parents or wander off alone. They take the children underwater, where they adopt them as their own. Kalyapaliks have a distinctive humming sound, and the elders have said you can hear the Kalyapaliks humming when they are near. Up to today the Kalyapalik story is still being told in schools and books, and by parents who don't want their children to wander off to the dangerous shore. If so what has made the creature rise, will others of myth do the same as well? Stay paranoid my friends.